Hello, it's Gem Games here once again, and in this video we are going to add some additive animations so our hand will move away from the wall when we go closer. Because now you can see when we do like this, you can see our flashlight is clipping the wall, and it is not very realistic. And also we are uh, flashing the light through the wall, so. We don't want that to happen. So yeah, let's get started. First, you want to go to the link in the description that takes you to my Google Drive. And then you want to download this flashlight close to wall adaptive FPX and also flashlight base pose FPX. After you have done that, you want to go to the blueprints, animations and flashlight. Now you want to get your downloaded animations and you want to import them to here. Now you of course want to select the SK mannequin skeleton, so the UE5 skeleton, import all. And now what we have to do here, we want to open the flashlight close to the wall additive. And what we want to do here now, we want to go where we have additive settings and we want to change the additive anim type to local space and now we want to change the pace pose type to selected animation scaled then we have to select an animation and we want to select the flashlight pace pose that we imported with this uh, additive animation okay let's save let's close now we want to go to our animation blueprint. So to the animations and APP player. And what we want to do on the on here on the APP player, we are actually already on the event graph. What we want to do here. After this component to local, we want to move this output post a little bit further maybe to here. Now what we want to do is we want to right click and we want to apply additive. Okay. And we want to get it here and connect base, this component to local to the base and output to the result like this. Now this additive that we want to add here will be the flashlight. Uh, where is it? Flashlight close to the wall additive. Yes, this one. Okay, let's connect it to the additive. Now, when we compile, uh, nothing will yet happen, but when we set the flashlight in use to true, compile, and move this a little bit closer, you can see our hand is a lot uh, closer to our body. I will make this a little bit bigger so you can see it better. Okay, like this. Now, when we change this alpha value to like zero, compile, you can see the hand goes back to the normal. So it basically moves it here. Now we want to promote this alpha to a variable. Let's rename this variable to be close to wall uh, alpha. Let's put it under the category of look input, 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 I mean. Okay. Now when we compile, now we can adjust this value and check this here, what happens. You know, when it goes closer to one, the hand will go closer to his face. Okay. And how we can make this work with the wall or like when we are close to wall, I will show you now. Let's set this uh, default value to zero. Let's also make this look a little bit better, like that, and a little bit closer. Okay, compile and save. So how we can get that value that we can, or like how we can get this alpha value, so it works correctly. What we want to do, we want to create a new function. This function will be called close to wall. Uh, or something like that. Actually, let's call it 
let's call it get close to wall uh, alpha I think that's better okay and now let's go to the event graph and after the hands way let's connect it there okay compile and save and now let's go to the function that we just created and what we want to do here now we want to go to our ref references and we want to get our player ref get it and right click convert to validated get we want to check that it's validate uh, sorry valid and from here what we want to do we have to compile now we want to get from the player ref we want to get the first person camera okay and let's also make this validated get like this and from the is valid we want to connect to here so the next thing that we want to do we want to get from the player ref and we want to get mesh character get mesh okay and let's actually add a reroute to here select this and press Q to align and now from the mesh what we want to do we want to get socket location and this uh, show it uh, I gotta speak socket will be and R so our right hand socket okay and what we want to do with that we want to first get world location why cannot we do that world location what oh i'm so stupid we already have the world location here <laughs> sorry sorry about that so what we want to now do we want to add a sphere trace i channel this one here now we want to get from the is valid and connect to here okay and we want to connect this to the start and add a reroute to around here now we want to also get from this and we want to add to it and connect that to the end now let's select all these and press q to align again and what we want to add to there now we have this first person camera here actually let's move this a little bit further right like that this little bit closer so from the first person camera what we want to do we want to get forward vector we want to get it under here and add a reroute again now to this forward vector we want to multiply this and we want to change this pin the float single precision and now we want to promote this to a variable okay this variable will be called start wall uh, like transform distance start actually today I'm a little bit bad with the names so let's call it wall transform start distance I think that's little bit better and that we want to we want to compile so we can access the default value and we want to set this to 30 okay now that we have this here we want to connect this to here and now let's select this and press Q to align so what we are doing here right now we're getting our player ref <coughs> and the hand our socket location that's the start of the trace now we are getting the uh, first person camera and we are getting its forward vector so where the camera is looking and we are getting that uh, 30 units from there forward and that is the direction and we are adding that direction to this location so we are getting 30 units on this locations uh, how would I say it like 
we have this location, we, but we are using uh, first-person cameras, rotation, basically, to get the forward vector, and we will add it to here. Okay, so we are getting the trace from here and 30 units forward by the camera's rotation. I think that was better said. <laughs> okay, now let's set the radius to like 15. And we can actually set this draw debug type to like for duration. Okay. Now, the next thing that we want to do, we want to get from the out hit and we want to break hit results. Let's put it around here. Let's open it. And what we want to do next, we want to get our close to wall alpha and we want to set it here. Okay, and one thing that I noticed, this wall transform start distance, we want to also put this to the look input. Uh, sorry. Okay, so now we are setting the close to wall alpha. What we want to set it to, we want to get from it and we want to f interp to. Like this. And we want to get the close to wall alpha to the current value. Like that. And to the target, we want to get a select float. Like this. And now I will actually like align this. Okay. Yes. So the target is that. And... This condition will be if we have blocking hit or not. So let's align this again. So if we have blocking hit, what we want to do then? We want to get our distance and we want to map lamped, map range clamped. Connect this return value to A. Now we want to map this distance to some values. So if it's our range in range A, which will be the wall start uh, transform start distance. Connect that. Actually, we will have to move this further. Like this. Let's connect this to the A. So it will start from the A and it will go until zero. Okay, and outrange A will be zero because if we are here or further, we want to, the alpha to be zero. And when we are here, we uh, sorry, here on zero, we want it to be one. Simple as that. Okay, now let's also copy this one more time under here. Let's connect this again to the A and this value to the distance. And now let's actually move this to here. I think it looks a little bit better. Now what we want to do is we want to get from here, from delta time, we want to get world delta seconds. Now from the interp speed, we want to select float. Okay, and now we want to connect this to the A and add a reroute to here and connect to here. So our interp speed will change uh, by the, if we have a blocking hit. If we don't have, we want to set it to four. And if we have, we want to map this value again. So if we are far away from it, we want to map it to four. And if we are close to it, we want to map it to six. And you can play with these values if you want, but yeah, that is good for me. So we are basically mapping the distance to value that we can use as alpha here. And we are just interping to it smoothly. Okay, and we are changing the interp speed by the distance also. So it will go between four and six. And also, yeah, here is also four. This just makes sure that uh, when we don't have blocking hit, that it is some value. 
also here that it is zero okay compile save now when we go to the third person map and we play this starts to work let's press f now you can see the trace on the hand and when we go close when it starts to notice it you can see our hand goes further now we want to set the trace to none because we know that it works compile and save now when we play we can see correctly how everything is working so let's try with this when we go close you can see the hand will go further and when we watch down it will go back when we go up you can see the flashlight never goes through the wall anymore it is looking pretty nice and realistic because in the real world also you wouldn't stick your flashlight through the wall you would move it away from the wall like this and also i think it this works pretty uh like accurately because you can see here when the wall comes and will go further and when it goes over it we'll get back yes i actually think that was all for this video if you liked what you saw please click the like button and subscribe for more and yeah hope you have a great day and see you on the next one bye